Good morning! It is a state sale day, which I am so excited about. Um, oh, my other shirt's just right, just right there. Let me move that out of the way. Today we are going on an estate sale adventure, which I am so excited about because I have only ever been to probably two or three estate sales, and I've never really done them where I've gone to like multiple in one day or really like took in the time to go and travel to and hit a few different estate sales. But last night, Justin texted me. He's like, look at these estate sales that are tomorrow. I know that he uses the website estatesales.net, which I will put below for you because you're able to find like estate sales locally in your area on that site. So he ended up finding some and today we are going to be going to some estate sales. I've always been one to wonder if I'm able to film at an estate sale. And after talking to a bunch of people, everyone's like, you know what? I think it's totally fine. And so I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep it kind of low key. It's not like a private space. Everyone's able to go to an estate sale and shop an estate sale. So I feel like if those items are on display for everyone, then I can share them with you as well. So we are going on an estate sale journey today. Three different ones that I wanna go to over the course of this weekend. I just woke up, I got ready. I'm waiting for Justin to head over. I had such a lovely sleep last night. I actually need to probably make my bed before he gets here. Um, I had such a great sleep last night in my Helix mattress. I adore, love, could not praise and say enough good stuff about my Helix mattress. I would never ever Consider another mattress brand. I just love it so much and also I know there's a lot of like controversy right now on social media about uh, Mattress brands having fiberglass and that is absolutely not the case with helix They do not manufacture in any facilities that use fiberglass. They don't have fiberglass in any of their products So 100% fiberglass free for their mattresses because I've been seeing that lately on social media So I wanted to also touch on that but Yes, I love mine. It's perfect. And if you have never seen Helix or heard of Helix before, the mattresses come shipped in a box, which is one of my favorite parts because it's not some big clunky delivery situation. And how you're actually going to pair yourself with the mattress is going through their sleep quiz, which is also a humongous plus because I feel like picking out a mattress, especially online, could be a bit of a challenge. So being able to put in your sleep requirements and just kind of like your sleep preferences and then pairing you up with a mattress that fits you is ideal. Plus, if it's not perfect, for you, you have a 100 day sleep trial, so you can have it returned, they'll come pick it up, you don't have to put it back in the box, which is the best part. So, I mean, the risk to trying out a Helix mattress is virtually none, and they also have so many other perks on top of everything I've already said, like free US shipping, a 10 year warranty, and flexible payment plans and financing options as well. So whenever you get your mattress out of the box, all you have to do is just open up the packaging, and this is the most fun part because it puffs up in front of your eyes, which I love. So if you would like 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows, you can click my link below, which is helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott to take the sleep quiz or just find out any more information on Helix. We are at the first estate sale and they made it clear that there's an estate sale today. So let's head on in. This is a really cute house. I actually used to live on this street. Um, my first apartment when I started this channel was on this street. Look how cute the door is with the little glass peephole. Ooh, you guys, this one's good. This is a good estate sale. There's lots of fun things. Look at the, look at these old paintings. Yes. Taking selfies with Law and Fox fan members. <laughs> Drew met some new friends. Get together and smile. Estate sale friends. <laughs> <laughs> The art in this estate sale is unreal. It's so pretty, look. Oh, Justin, look at that column. That art is so cool. So many bronze statues and like collectibles. Wow, look at this random needle pointed shield kind of standing art piece that has this base on it, but I love the shape. It's like dark wood. Art in this, look how big this is. Justin, go go near that for scale. That is huge. Oh, look how much art there is. They do know how to price their artwork here though. It's not like bargain art. Sunday on a shelf. We have 
a lot of ceramics over here. And normally when I'm looking for ceramics, I look first for things that are handmade. So like I can tell that this one out of everything looks to be more handmade. This one's actually really cute. So I might ask the price on this one because it doesn't have, look at this, the lid of this. So cool. Canister, ooh, look at this carving. Love that. Justin just found the cutest face. Look at this. It has like a little block printy motif on it. Yeah, it's like studio, but it has like a Yeah, print. and look, I just found this. How pretty is that? Oh, I love a decorative plate. Look at this carved mirror. Mm -hmm. A little wall plaque. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the wall. It's all like trinkets and... Justin, what is this called? Like when it's like all memorabilia? Uh, memory wear? Like memory wear, yeah. Oh my gosh, look how cool. So fun. These are all like little plates and like ceramic bits that were wall section over time, like a mosaic. So whoever lived here really crafted their outdoors like this is a pet ball so fun oh it's made of buttons folk art angel clock It's made from matchsticks. Can you believe that? That is so cool. This frame is so pretty too. I love the striped wood. Look at the edge of this little painted table. I love it. We found a antique store, but they're having like a blowout estate sale today, it says. Estate sale. Everything must go sale oh my gosh look at this table look at those legs oh my gosh that's so pretty actually 350. i actually have one exactly like this in my bathroom look at this lamp you guys oh my gosh it's 125 it's stone stone lamp I don't know exactly how it goes together, but I love this. Is it painted? Whoa. That's only $50 also? We need that for the courtyard. Just like to hold a plant. Or even putting a glass top on it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. That's so beautiful. Look at this, you guys. $50. This squiggly, wavy vase with like this little stand. Okay, wait, but this place has so much stuff. I also love that it's outdoors. Like, I've never been to anything like this. It's so cute. Ooh, look at that mirror back there. It's like painted. Oh my gosh, look at these little like compotes. a fun place. Oh, so cool. <gasps> that desk is so cool. It's, so cool. it's like burl. Oh, look at that like shop counter with the little like oh, that's cute. curtain look under at it. The vanity with the marble like oh. <gasps> yeah, the viola marble. That's so pretty. What are you getting? Oh, you know, just a mask, a mask. for your mask wall. <laughs> Let's go in. Look how stunning the ceiling is in here. The stained glass window over there. It's Monday and I spent the weekend going to some estate sales and I found pieces, you guys. Like I have a whole collection of items right here and I think I scored 
immensely. And honestly, like the price points of some of them, I will say that the first estate sale I went to was more of like a high price fine art estate sale. There definitely were some pieces that were like random, that were more affordable. And there also was like this, for example, which was outside. This piece of art, it was damaged. Like it has a little rip in it right here. But I mean, they marked it at $10. And the guy was like, are you sure you want that? It's damaged. And I was like, it's $10. I and mean, it's such a beautiful oil painting. Can't even tell from the front that there's a rip at all. So this, for example, was 10 bucks at the first estate sale. Such a great oil painting. I just love it. The back also really shows the age of the piece. I'm gonna stay with art for a minute here because I got some great pieces. Actually, from the same place, I found this as well. This one was also, I think, like $10. And it was just a little oil painting on a board and it was super pretty. I just thought that the design on there was great. It's not framed or anything, but it could be hung or framed. Found this really great piece, which I thought was so unique. And it is a relief of three horses and it's kind of out of casted. I don't know what this is. It might be like a casted ceramic or like a clay. It was a little more expensive, but I think I'm going to put this one in the shop. I just thought this was such a cool one. It's also in such great quality, but it is pretty heavy. So all around, I thought this was a really cool piece. You also saw me find this one here, which is more of an abstract piece, probably from like the 50s or 60s. And I just loved how this was framed. It's super dimensional, as you can see, but the color of the wood frame on the side really is what drew me to it. And then it also has this bit of gold here, which I do also like. And the art itself, it kind of reminds me of fireworks. The actual orientation is supposed to be this way, but I love an abstract piece because they really can go anywhere. They don't have to, subject matter doesn't have to relate to the room you're designing or anything. It's just adding color, texture, and a little bit of artwork to the space. So I thought this was a nice one just to have on hand in case I have a project where I wanna add some red or like some yellow or just this vibe to the space. Kind of a smaller piece, which is this wood carving here. And I just loved this. I love that it was signed because I felt like it just added kind of that personal touch to the piece. And I don't know the actual nature of this. So if anyone knows maybe what this figurine is, it kind of seems like it could be a religious figurine or something like Greek or Roman. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I think it's super great and it would be a cool piece like in an office or like leaning on a shelf. Figuring out of art for a second, some of the decor pieces I got. First, this, five dollars, are you kidding? Remember I told you guys I was gonna ask for the price on that? Five bucks for this little picture, so cute. I actually wanna put this in my breakfast nook shelving because when I designed the breakfast nook, I kinda just threw a bunch of stuff in the shelving and knew I was gonna swap things out as I collect them and find pieces that are like perfect for that space. And this is one of those pieces. So this I'm going to be adding into the breakfast nook area. This I'm really excited about. I'm gonna put this actually in my office, which was the most recent makeover on the channel. I've also been so into playing with it because I just keep spinning it and trying to get the balls not to hit the wood. like. See how many times it can go around. Something about this just adds an abstract look. It's just really like artistic and odd, but it's also interactive. I just love it. This here was a crafting lamp base. So it was like a striped wood lamp base. As you can see, the cord actually has like a little channel cut out here. So you would essentially string the cord up through here and then add some sort of hearth where you could put a shade on top of it. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pick that up because this would be such a cute lamp if I ever wanted to turn it into one in the future. $10 for that lamp base, which I thought was a great price. On the lines of striped wood, I also did get this striped frame. This was a little bit more pricey. It was a folk art frame and sampler, but this is actually like a little um, cross-stitched kind of art piece quote in the center there, but I really purchased it mainly for the frame. I love the striped wood so much. I feel like this is such a focal frame and it could stand alone in a space or it really can just make high impact on a wall with a piece of artwork. I found this little box, which I loved. It has different pieces of wood veneer cut out to create this little scenery. And I thought it was just so pretty, all the different tones of brown and just the warm tones in there. And then it has kind of a bark exterior and it's such a cute little box with a red rim. This piece I got for the shop, it's a little primitive mortar and pestle, which I think is so unique. I've never seen one like this. The mortar, which looks like this, so cool. And then this component as well, which creates this lovely little primitive herb grinder. I think it's so cool and unique. 
one of my favorite pieces of pottery I've ever found, or Justin actually found this. I just absolutely love the colors in this, and I've been so obsessed with block prints lately. Um, everything that I've just been gravitating towards has been a block print. I feel like this just has a lot of what I love. It's a ceramic piece. I love vases as well. The color of blue, just the colors in here are so, so pretty. I feel like this is a piece that when you like see it on a shelf, you want to go up and look at it because the colors are just so unique. Got another pair of these candlesticks, which actually were in my last vintage drop, and they sold out really fast, but I've loved these. I've only ever found them once before. They're like coily and so cute, and they hold a candlestick, but just one of these like super simple on a little table or like a side table, it adds a great bit of movement to a space. I have two bowls here. This first one is like a marble alabaster style bowl, and this one was $15. It has some discoloration here, but I always love like discolored alabaster and marble. I don't know what it is. I think this would be so pretty on a coffee table with maybe like your remote or some like essentials or even like, I don't know, some fruit in here maybe like on a coffee table, some faux fruit, something cute. This piece honestly might be one of my favorites and I don't know why. There's just something about this that I've never seen. It kind of has this Art Nouveau vibe to it, but it's like a pedestal bowl. It's almost tin in a sense as well. It's really lightweight, but I love the crimped edge, the detail and the embossing. It's just so pretty. And then the base itself, just how it's all constructed and pieced together, I could not pass this up. It was a great, great little accent bowl. Last couple of pieces. I got these candle holders, which are so fun. They're really tall. They're kind of loopy and they twist, which is so fun. So there's a pair of those that I picked up. This piece here, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, Drew, return it. Look at it. It's like another spooky face. You guys know that I'm so into these spooky faces. This one, however, was $20 and I couldn't pass it up because it was bronze casted on this like chunky wood base. And I was like, you know what? Even if I used it like this one day and it was like a figurative bronze sculpture, in the back of a bookshelf that you didn't really know what it was, but it added texture, that's okay. But also maybe I'll find a use for this. I just couldn't, for $20, it was so, it's so heavy. It's like made of casted bronze. And I don't know, there's just something about it that I wanted to take him with me. I did pick up the matchstick art. I just felt like this in an office or like a den or something would be so cool. Like every single component on this is made of matchsticks. Everything from the ship to the background to the actual frame itself, every single component is made of matchsticks. I don't even know how many hours were spent on this. So I felt like this could be such a focal in a room in the future. So. I picked it up and lastly, I got one more art piece. I couldn't not not get because I had never seen an oil painting with such like moodiness and depth and just contrast. Something about these little children look like they're glowing off the oil painting. It's a signed George Harvey painting. So it's late 1800s and it is stunning. And for the price point, the guy was telling me like, this is such a great price point. It was one of the more affordable pieces at that like more fine art sale. It was too good to pass up. And honestly, people were going in like taking so much art and like buying it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe these are good prices. I don't know. But this one was pretty reasonable, I felt. And for the subject matter and just for this the way that it looked, I was like, you know what, I need this. Like, I could find a use for this. I could put it on the website. Someone else needs this. I don't know. I just had to grab this oil painting and it's beautiful. And that is everything that I picked up this weekend at my estate sale adventure with Justin. It was so much fun. You can really find so much stuff at estate sales. And the thing that's great to know about estate sales too is that on the first day, normally everything is full price. Then on the second day, things go down in price. And on the third day, things normally cut in half in price. So the more days or the further it is into the estate sale, the prices are actually cut from that ticket price. And that's really across the board for almost every estate sale. That's how a lot of them actually work work because they want to get rid of everything in the house. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It has been a little bit of a slower start working into Marie's room upstairs. We've run into a couple of hiccups, which is why a makeover video hasn't really happened yet, but we are coming to one very shortly. And I also have another kind of small space similar to Trevor's that I'm going to be sharing with you shortly as well that I've been working on. So yes, I will catch you guys on the channel upcoming Thursday, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!